Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. This is your horoscope for tomorrow, September 9th, 2020, Mars Stationing Retrograde. Today we are going to have a very short video. This is going to be a quick read on what the energies are going to look like starting off tomorrow, starting us in this new phase of Mars stationing retrograde. So what is this cycle going to look like for you? What are the lessons that are going to come up? And how are we going to work through this Mars retrograde? So starting tomorrow, we have Mars stationing retrograde, and it is going to make a square over to Saturn and Capricorn. And so this is a moment of teaching us to slow down, to take a different route, to take a different approach. There is a lot of clarity that is coming through, especially as we are building up towards this Jupiter stationing direct and having this sun opposite Neptune that is happening here. And we are going to see big time when that new moon in Virgo comes, a lot of clarity, a lot of practical wisdom about where we're going, where we're headed. And so the whole theme right now is about change. It is about having the clarity and the insight to know what your approach is, what steps to take at this time. So a lot of clarity that is coming into focus after all of this confusion, all of these major changes and unexpected sudden changes happening in our lives. There is a lot of clarity that is starting to come in, especially as we're moving into the next week. And so as Mars is stationing here, retrograde in the sign of Aries and its home sign, this is going to be a huge time of not rushing in, not overdoing it, putting too much energy and intention into what you are doing, but actually taking the time to think it through, actually sitting with your plans and your goals and thinking about what is the strategy, what are the steps that you need to take that are going to work. And so for those of you who are here running into obstacles, running into roadblocks during this Mars retrograde, this is going to be a huge time where you want to put a foot on the brake and really think about what are the action steps? What is the plan? What is the course that you are going to take? Because Mars is the energy of the soldier. It is that aggression, that straightforward action, right? It is about your intentions and what you are trying to act on, what you are passionate about. And so this is a huge time to reflect on the things that you are passionate about. A huge time to reflect on the energy that you are putting into your life at this time. Where is your focus? Where is your energy going into? And so huge time to really make sure that you're looking at everything, looking into the fine print, into the details, and really planning everything out step by step instead of going in hot and heavy with that Martian energy. And this is especially true for those of you who have a ton of Mars energy in your chart, whether you are, whether you have a prominent Scorpio placement, a prominent Aries placement, or you have a prominent Martian placement within your chart. This is a huge time where you want to put the foot on the brake and make sure that you are taking the correct steps in your life. And so for those of you who are here trying to rush to get something done, trying to rush in towards a goal, you are probably already feeling this shift now as everything is starting to slow down in terms of our action, our focus, our energy, right? And this has been an interesting week as we came in with this Venus and Leo in a conjunction with Vesta, with all of this energy, all of this passion, all of this creative force. And now all of that energy is really starting to slow down as we're coming into this Mars retrograde. And so making sure that you are planning, that you're scheduling, that you're sitting and thinking about the things that you want to do and create during this Mars retrograde is a huge 
thing that we want to focus on during this time. Now the card that I pulled for the Mars retrograde is North Node Life's Purpose. Very appropriate. This is going to be a Mars retrograde that is in a sextile over to Rahu, over to Rahu, the North Node. And so there is a lot of this energy that is about what is your purpose? Where are you going? Because remember that Rahu is in its exaltation in Gemini, where it is all about that forward motion. It is all about getting straight to the point. What is it that you want to experience? Because that Rahu North Node is hungry. It is that head without the body, right? It is this obsessive nature of wanting to learn and explore more. And so there is this nature of how are we going to move forward? What are the goals? What are the steps? What is the plan to get to where we are trying to get to in life at this moment? So huge time once again to plan everything out, to think everything through. If you're hitting roadblocks, if you're hitting obstacles during this Mars retrograde, depending on where this is positioned in your chart, then you want to take that time to reassess, to reevaluate as a retrograde is always a time of reflection, right? So this is a time to go inward and to really think it through in terms of where are you going? What are you putting your focus, your energy, your time, your effort, your passion into? And so for those of you who are feeling less energy, who are feeling odd changes within your reality, this is a time where you are still able to get everything done, but maybe you have to take a different approach. Maybe you have to come up with a different plan, a different strategy during this time in order to move forward, in order to manifest everything in the way that you want it to manifest. And so huge time to really find a smart way about getting your goals done. Not so much about this impulsive, straightforward leadership drive to just jump in, but let's take a step back and look at everything. Take the time to sit with our goals, with our plans, with our ambitions, and think about what is the right way to approach these situations in our lives. So huge time that we are shifting into. This will end coming into November. And so this is a short little phase that we will go through here, but it is making a huge impact on our lives as it is changing our approach, our action steps to how we are getting things done in life. And again, this is going to impact you according to how this is positioned in your chart. If you want to know more about this Mars retrograde and how it specifically is affecting your zodiac sign, then check out my blog post and I will leave that down in the description as well as the comments. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this, leave a like as well as a comment. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And I want to thank you all so much for joining. I hope you all have a great day and I want to thank Spirit for making this message possible. I will see you all in the next video.